In this video, we're going to import a document from Word and we're going to put it inside a designer and we're going to do some things with it in designer. So the first thing we do is we'll go to our import source and we pick this project type import from Word. And we're going to upload it from our drive. So we're going to take this document right here and it notice it is a docx file. So we'll import that takes a second or two for it to import this into because it's a fairly large document it has some things in it that I want you to see because when you import a document from Word you're not going to import all of the um, formatting isn't going to come in because designer is a formatter the purpose for putting content into designer is to format it in a particular way so let's take a look at what we can do here first thing I'm gonna do is pick a just pick a template hit next and I'm going to save it as a draft because I'm going to need to make some edits. Now we'll open this in the draft mode. We'll hit refresh right here. And there's the draft I was just working on. So let's open this up. Very important to remember this. We're going to find some things in here that we don't want to keep. Find some things in here that we need to edit. Okay, this is an editable file. And I want to edit these things out of this and put my name in here. This was designed. This is a piece of PLR that was designed for the purpose of me making it my own. Okay, so I can do that. I can do the same thing down here. So we're, we're, we're editing this file. And here's the place to do this. That now, the next thing I see is I have a table of contents. This table of contents is going to be of no value to me because it was created in Word. I can create a table of contents if I have a pro version or above. I can create a table of contents inside of Designer. But this table of contents in Word will not apply because these page numbers are not going to be accurate. We're not maintaining all of the formatting that goes here. We're simply taking the uh, content itself and making an ebook from that content. So let's get rid of that table of contents. And now I'm going to look at this and see where we're at here. Okay. This is going to be my introduction. And um, I have the images. Let's go down through here and take a look at this. This is where you do the editing of your file is right here in this editor because this is telling me that this paragraph is going to be in a paragraph container. This chapter title is going to be in a header container. Uh, that image is going to be appropriate. Now what I see here is that it's taken this quote and it has taken the source of the quote and it has separated those. And I want to put them together. It's shown that as two separate lines and so it shows it as two separate containers, um, both paragraph containers. And so that's probably going to be consistent throughout my document, but it's something that I need to take a careful look at. All right, there's another one of those. And so every one of them are going to be that way. We just need to watch for that. I'm just going to do the first three chapters and we're going to save that draft. Now we're going to take it from the editor. We've imported it. We've saved it as a, as a file that we can edit. And we have the edits for the file right here. Now we're going to move it to the formatter. Step number three. And I'm going to pick this template. And I'm going to hit next and it's going to ask me for a project name and I'm going to call this. Now, don't worry about your cover, but take a look at how the content was imported. Again, all of these paragraphs are correct. There's where I corrected that paragraph container to make sure that the quote and the source of the quote were connected. But now I see everything exactly as I wanted to see it inside of um, inside of the formatter in designer. I've taken the content, I've imported it. I imported the content correctly. Secondly, as I modified that content because the table of contents is going to do me no good. So I removed the table of contents. Then I took that content, uh, edited, and I brought it into the um, into the formatter here. I'm going to do one more thing while we're here just because I want you to see the value of this. And that is, I'm going, to, I'm going to apply the table of contents here. Put that right at the very beginning. I'm going to pick this, to, this nested table of contents so you can see it's actually taken my table of contents. This is my H1 tag, and it's taken all of my other tags, my other header tags, and moved them as sub chapters under the original chapters. Okay?